Hey guys, Tony here at CCX RC, and we are out with the Team Magic E5HX. Can do a little bash session for you guys. So uh, we're running it on a 3S. This is rated for a 2 or 3S, and uh, it's a 100C Venom LiPo battery. So uh, it's gonna have some, oh, big crashes. That 100C should give us some good punch. Uh, I should have probably just held, there it is, uh, might be tricky to get a, a flip. Alright, so it might be trickier than I thought to get a flip off it at 3S. Making some weird gear noises. Let me just take a quick look at it. Our mesh might not be very good. All right, Let's give it another go. There we go. Now she's rocking. So it's not the fastest, it goes about 37. Ooh! <laughs> Caught that one on a wheelie. Threw me out of control. Big beefy plastic chassis. Huh, not driving very well. Let's give this thing just a quick little bash, see how it handles out here. Seems quick enough. Pretty stable little flyer. Ooh. Very hard uh, braking. Ooh, that was a brutal one, but came out all right. It uh, doesn't quite have the power on 3S to uh, really overcome and do the flips that I want it to do. And would hope it would do. With the short wheelbase, I thought it was just gonna kind of flip like crazy, but it is not for me. Not at least on these jumps. I'll have to like set up some jumps that'll uh, allow us to do it. Maybe put one of these plastic ramps onto here to kind of change our angle. I'm not gonna uh, run it much longer here, guys. I'm not liking the sounds that I'm getting uh, from the mesh, I think is what it is. And uh, it's just still, I think needs to dry out a little bit more back here. And I need to reshape some of these jumps. That was some good air. Ooh, that one launched. So I guess I just need to start pegging it on some of these. So far I would describe what I've been doing to this as abuse. I've not been very good at landing it. That was a pretty big one. But um, <laughs> that's, I think, driver error more than anything. Still trying to get used to wearing this uh, shoulder strap thing and driving. It's different. Ah, that was hard. But each hard hit, when I cringe, it still comes back and is doing all right so it's uh got some durability at least so i'm slamming on that front two wheels pretty hard even there oh all right guys so i went ahead and i adjusted the uh the mesh and the uh, pinion and the spur and i'm still getting uh, a little bit of chatter so I think it's just that, uh, it's just the metal to metal gearing is what we're dealing with here. I'm swearing this thing's begging for a 4S. Or maybe just different gearing. All right guys, so I don't know where I'm standing at this point. I feel like it definitely needs different gearing or something. 
because it doesn't have quite the power that the other cars had. I thought with the shorter wheelbase that we we're gonna get more uh, easy flip action on 3S like the JLBs do, but this one doesn't. Um, I mean, it's barely getting around with the extra height that I'm giving it there. So the wheel speed is just not there. But, um, I mean, overall it does feel pretty cool, but, you know, what those other cars give you, oh, I mean, I'm just riding that thing. That was brutal. Oh, I thought I broke, cracked the chassis, but that's just the plate there. That was a tough landing. So <laughs> it will take some abuse. But. Not exactly what I would expect it to be doing, given how much it wants to wheelie and everything. Just feels like there's wheel speed there. She's not getting the revolutions, and we're running 100C, which I haven't run in any of those other cars on uh, 3S. So, yeah, I thought I was going to get a little bit more power to uh, to make this thing just go nuts. I mean, it jumps pretty good, but. That's not what I was wanting to do with it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Definitely quick, I'll give it that. Yeah, I mean, it's a good jumper, guys, overall. It handles just like a, a good basher, but some of those I feel like I could spin it all the way around. I'm just afraid to because I'm hitting that pretty fast. And if I miss, I'm gonna be driving it into the ground. Oh, barely stuck it. That's a good way to break the front end. That's a really, really wide uh, flip, though. Uh, let me just try and... Oh, I held it the whole time. Let's see if I can do it with this plastic one. Missed it. <laughs> I probably need to be more straight on with it. I don't know that I've actually been hitting this plastic one full speed when I'm hitting it. Oh! That was big. I mean, that is slapping all the way down when it lands. One of the weird things I'll show you guys here is when it does push all the way down, those wheels come in. See that, how they turn in? Because the way that they have this tied, just like the front wheels, uh, like the turning, turnbuckles. So, it's kind of an interesting design, how it makes that uh, adjustment when it lands. Oh, well it could definitely front flip off of this with the brakes that it's got going on. Let's try that again. See if we can't make a front flip. A uh, double front flip. And then cartwheels. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try one more time. I don't wanna break it. It's too cool a car to just destroy it for no reason. We do like to test these things for you guys. But usually when I break things, it's on a failed front flip. The ramp's looking perfect for it though. Look at the kick on that. It's because broken. That's got some uh, elevation for it. There it was. 
had to do it much slower speed. Much more controlled that way. Uh, trying to gas out of it. Just not hitting it square either. There we go. It's not a big one though. I'd like to do a big one. Oh, I had a turn in it too. Like a misty flip or something. This thing is tough as nails though. It's taking some abuse here. How many times can I beat it up and still uh, not break it? Ooh. Oh, that was weird. Hear the diffs on that one. There went the battery. Battery's out, guys. So we abused it pretty good, and she took it.